knowing that I would be speaking at today's ceremony, my first thought was, oh no. The thought of speaking in front of so many people was quite daunting. When I mastered up my when I mastered up my courage to, put, to keep my work ethic in account, to say yes to this opportunity, I was totally blank. But when I took my pen and diary to write something, I thought, what should be the message I should deliver? The, clash, the classic cliches came to my mind, and in all honesty, I found myself thinking about time. Thinking about time, about how it flies by, and how there is never enough of it. About how little of it we have when we begin to realize how truly valuable it is. There are only a handful of milestones in life where one looks back, reflects on the past, and ponder about the future. Today is one of those milestones. We are gathered here to celebrate the culmination of our postgraduate journey. Allow me to congratulate all my graduate fellows. It was not easy, especially for our batch with the pandemic situation, but we have made it. I have been at DHU for almost six years, and when I think of the time I applied for the scholarship, it seems to be just a week or month ago. These years, I and all of us struggled for a journey, for a destination we never thought of it. Coming to China, being a PhD scholar, or becoming a doctor, none of them was there in my life plan. But sometimes the wind powers enable us to handle the things we never thought of. Chinese language classes to advanced organic chemistry lectures, sleepless nights and days, and weeks struggling with the project. Everything was so hard at that time, and now it is just a memory. I know I can't really fight against time, but I'm going to fight to keep all those memories. We don't even realize how much we have grown or how much we link the idea of home to people in a set of places. So I will fight to really cherish my time with friends and family and to not let the moment that matter slip by in the rush of present things. I would like to acknowledge all those people who helped me get here. First, and foremost to my parents for encouraging and supporting me instead of pressurizing me. I thank all my friends, you know who you are, for making me laugh on the stressful days and pushing me on the lazy days. Thank to my teachers for answering my many, many questions with patience. Teachers have a, such a strong influence on students' approach to a subject, and I'm really thankful to have a, an amazing teachers at DHU. Moreover, the whole staff of ICS who helped us to grow up when we were invented in China, and finally, I highly appreciate my respected supervisor. I'm really lucky to have a patient, friendly, and knowledgeable mentor, Professor Hong. What have I learned these past years? Well, I don't think it is much different from what we have all learned. And if it is, I don't think inherently more special simply because I'm standing on a desk. Hopefully, we have all learned something that we will take with us as we venture through the highs and lows of life. Chances are these lessons weren't found in a textbook, and no matter how many times other people advise you, you will only really learn them when you go through it yourself. Certain lessons in life only experience can teach you, as it is said experiences are the best teachers. I know many of us have to make career choices right now, and it can be scary at times to plan a life that feels so uncertain and out of our reach. But that's okay. Be brave and courageous to face the challenges. The important thing is to savor the present moment, because someday when we are old and gray-headed, we will once again remember how the time flies. 
I wish you all the best in the next chapter of your life. Thank you, everyone.